lecture I am going to discuss about how to run CSAP in JetBrains Writer. So first you are going to download the JetBrains Writer. In Google search box run the JetBrains Writer. Then click on this site. Then click on this download button. So this is the here. The size is 871 MB. Okay, it will only take few minute times to complete the download. JetBrains Writer executable file that download completed thereafter click on this executable file next next and here for oh, this is here icon this is path and project this is here or oh, extension cs so these two zig section are really required SLN and CS. Then after click on next and here install button. I can creating and now you can see JetBrains Writer this installing area Windows operating systems and this is doing the extraction of app.jar file. Completing JetBrains Writer. So I will I want to manually repeat later. Let's click on this finish. Then double click on this icon. This is 2023. And don't import the setting. This here opening the and here you can see importing setting for ID from the so if you want then you can import the settings. So Visual Studio community is there already and here Visual Studio code. So you can try any or skip import. Let's click on skip here. You can use dark, light or IntelliJ any option is there. So dark that's fine. Then after select keyword next feature plugins here you can download the features plugins like uh, here Vim Editor and Xamarin this all AWS so this is recommended let's use that and this all not essential now you can do it later then after uh, start using JetBrains Writer allow access and this here you can get a uh, trial version and uh, if you have account then you can give the accounts start trial click on S then first here we need to create here new solution so solution one name here you can use empty solution more dot net plan or uh, template console application desktop application asp.net and this all you can get here so i'm going to use here console application giving console here framework this has taken click on this create So now after that here this is programs.cs that's come there and simply we need to run and check here some process is going on so here going to run this run console application so this here uh, hello world it's a display after that I want to test other codes like uh, here I have the code to add two numbers control A I think is it's not working there control A V is used in beam command So paste option control V. Okay, paste it. And uh, here.
using system namespace going to use now you can see there is no any problem in this code it's just a warning and they after or uh, save that one and let's run a start please enter the number enter 8 enter 7 15 that's display okay so this is how we can or run or jet prints or c sharp in jetmins writer so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you